Welcome to Now in Android episode 39. Android Studio 4.2 is now available in the stable release channel. And this includes a new tool to help migrate your project to the latest Android Gradle plugin version, enhanced database inspector, system trace, safe arc support, apply changes, and the new project wizard. And there's lots more on the post. Hilt, Android Jetpack's recommended dependency injection solution for Android apps is now stable and ready for production. It's a simpler, more opinionated way to leverage the power of Dagger. And this eliminates boilerplate and reduces errors. Uh, my favorite feature is that it provides direct injection support for popular Jetpack libraries such as UModel, Work Manager, Navigation, and Compose. And you can read all about it in Manuel Vivo's article. Google Play announced upcoming policy changes around app metadata, prohibiting certain keywords in the icon, title, and developer name. We also added new guidelines for feature graphics, screenshots, videos, and short descriptions in your listing. Play also announced an upcoming safety section to give users more transparency and control over their data. It will ask you to share information about what type of identifying data you collect and store, how that data is used, and to implement a privacy policy. Mad Skills keeps on going. Marat Yanner has added two new episodes to the ongoing series on navigation around a coffee and donut tracking app. In the first new episode, Marat adds conditional navigation to direct the user to the right fragment, depending on whether they're tracking coffee and donuts or just donuts, <laughs> donuts without coffee, as well as how to build a test for conditional navigation. Now, the next episode covers nested and included navigation graphs and how you can use these to help modularize your app. The Mad Skills playlist on YouTube has all this and much more. We also have articles on Medium as well as a handy landing page. And speaking of articles, Manuel Vivo wrote about using the share in and state in operator. And this allows you to convert cold coroutine flows to hot flows, uh, which may, allows you to cache and buffer content and even multicast information to multiple collectors. In other words, you can use them a lot like live data. Murat Yenner wrote about the new background task inspector in Android Studio and how you can use it to monitor and debug Work Manager 2.5 plus workers. There have been a couple of episodes of Android developers backstage posted since the last Now in Android. Uh, Tor, Chet, and Roman talked with Rohit and Florina about Datastore, which is our replacement for shared preferences and all the advantages it has. And Tor chatted by himself with Jeffrey, Tingwan, and Yeet about Kotlin symbol processing, a new faster and better tool to replace annotation processors, and how we're using them in Room. Now, next week, we'll have Google I.O. from the 18th through the 20th, and the Android team has a lot to say, so make sure to check that out. As usual, everything that I talked about is linked in the article, so check out Now in Android 39 on Medium. And if you found this valuable, make sure to like, subscribe to the Android Developers Channel, and share.